that you might like to see what I'm doing. So I have the, this is left from my last trip in April or May. This is actually a shell casing. So this is what some of the shells, I believe this is a lightning bolt, but this is what they are kind of born into. So this protects them. Now you have to be careful when you take these because if it is not dead, if it's not dried out, you will actually kill the little shells that are in here. So if it is still wet and you are unsure, do not take it. But uh, this one is long since dead. It was dead when I picked it up, or not viable, I should say. It was already dried out. So let me show you. These are the little pieces that are attached on this strip here. I've already taken some off. And you can usually tell, well, this one was dry, so I didn't even have to guess but it does have this little hole in here. That is where the shells come out of. And then this one is actually completely empty, but I just think it's really cool because it's translucent. And then you can see the hole where the shells crawl out of. But I wanted to show you, I am actually taking all of these shells out that were left. Here is a big quahog. This is actually another shell, but these are the shells that I have taken out so far. There are actually a couple of empty, let's see if I can get it. So there are actually two, can I, there we go, two empty barnacles attached to this egg casing. So I did pull those off. And again, these were not viable because they are completely empty. If it looks like a, an, an empty volcano, then you know that it's no longer viable. So that's what I have collected so far. So I'm gonna carry on. Now I have been cutting these open with scissors because they may not look very tough, but these are tough little casings. So I just kind of shake the shells down because I don't want to cut any. And I just cut the very tip off. And then you can see all the little shells are in there. So if these had made it to maturation, they would have I probably a couple hundred baby shells out there for us to collect in a good 10 years. I don't even know how old they get, but so that's what I've been doing, just collecting those. And then that is what the inside of the casing looks like. There we go. And then I'm just going to put these all in a cute little jar and give them as a gift. So just thought you might be interested in seeing that. I actually am going through all of my shells from this previous trip and there are quite a few that I'm not going to keep. So I was thinking I could put them up on my website. All you got to do is pay for shipping. Let me know if you like that idea. I may or may not have taken the time to count them all. There are actually 262 baby snails and two barnacles. There we go. And then the rest of the empty casings. Took a while, but it's definitely worth it. And I'll show you when I get it all jarred up. I have two little jars. So I have this one, which I love. It's gonna to be too small. Come on and focus. So it's gonna to be too small, but I might still do something a little fun with that. And then I have this jar as well. This one's definitely gonna be a better fit. So let's start filling. And I think I'm gonna fill the small jar first. All right, so some little shells in there. Let's put the little topper on that. And then we'll put the rest in here. I am going to put the cute little barnacles in there too. All right, so that one is full. I think I'm going to just finish topping off this little one. Oh, perfect. So we have two full jars. Oh, I love it. How cute. All right, and then I'm going to actually top these off with a very special custom ribbon. This turned out so well. Let me show you the entire package. So like I said, this is gonna be a gift, but it's so cute. So I just did a black box, super cute little scalloped ribbon. And then this is the gift. Oh, I love it. So I just did some black filler inside. Let me show you that custom ribbon. It's so cute. So I did the little crab. <laughs> I 
I'm just loving it. And then the custom ribbon that I made. So I actually made this to hang in a car. So I did left the ribbon long, but oh my goodness, isn't that just the cutest little peanut? Oh, so cute. And there we have it. And then this is not quite finished, but this is going to be for one of you. So this is the tiny little jar that I also filled. This is so fun, so it's kind of hard to see here, but it does say HB, there we go, for Holden Beach, which is where I found the shell casing. That is another piece of beach goodies uh, that I affixed to the little tag, and then I just made a cute little, oh, there we go, just a cute little triangle with some beads laying inside, so that is going to be for one of you. Let me know how I should give this away. Alright guys, I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.